All right, playoff LFR time. You ready? Wait, wait, wait. Wasn't there only one game last night? Yeah. Wasn't it between the Habs and the Bruins? Yeah. So we're gonna do an LFR video for a Habs-Bruins game. Yeah. So it's come to this. Woo! Are you just gonna get hammered? Get me a toaster. Magic Angel Robot from Winnipeg! What the hell are you talking about? This team is ruining my life! Before I start this video, yes, Bruins fans watching, Habs fans watching, everyone else, I'm a Leaf fan. Don't get mad at me, I've tried not to, it's hopeless. If Game 7 last year didn't do it, I don't know what will. I'm gonna try to be as neutral as possible. I'm even trying to be neutral in what I wear. I didn't want to wear red or blue because, well, Montreal. I didn't want to wear black or yellow because, well, Boston. Gold. I have a green shirt, but it's for flogging Molly. I know they're not the Dropkick Murphys, but some people confuse them. I was gonna wear a Tractor Chalabans jersey, but then I remembered longtime Bruins Stanislav have Chistov played for them. And then I thought about wearing any of my other KHL jerseys and I figured Bruins fans would just get mad at me because that's the league that Alexei Yamelin came from. Then I wanted to wear my Jerome McGinley Team Canada jersey but then people would be like, oh you're supporting McGinley and other people, oh you're supporting that damn Canadian team. So here is the most neutral outfit I could possibly have for a Habs Bruins game. Come at me bro, what? Oh what you scared? No you don't want none of the Leafs. I knew you were scared. Oh what's that? Oh you're too busy playing in the playoffs? That's, that's actually a pretty good excuse. I'm so alone. Well, anyway, the Montreal Canadiens win 4-3 in overtime over the Boston Bruins, and they take game one of their series. First star of the game being P.K. Price. P.K. Pr Carey Subban. P.K. Subban with two goals in this one, including the OT winner and Carey Price standing on his face, facing 51 shots. As a fan, you can overhype things. I mean, even as an outside fan looking in, I watched this series with so much anticipation because I know you guys just hate each other. Bruins and Habs fans hate each other by nature and the players hate each other too. I mean Leafs and Habs fans always go at it but the players need to hate each other too. And they did for a while and then the Habs got rid of Sergei Kostitsyn and I'm like well that's not as fun. Leafs get rid of Kabrowski, well now who's gonna bite who? So this is the best original six rivalry, maybe the best rivalry overall. And the Habs come out swinging. Some big hits and chirps aside, P.K. Subban scores the first goal of the game, 1-0. See that goal could have been scored by anyone. That, that could have been Andre Markov, that, that could have been like David Deharnay, but it had it had to be PK. Do Bruins fans not like PK? I couldn't tell. And it had to be in Boston. You know this means Chara has to score in Montreal, right? Second period, Rene Bork breaking in, scores on two Karask, Habs up 2-0. Rene Bork with his fourth of the playoffs. He's only played five games. Who told him he's allowed to score again? Something I've noticed definitely with this goal and with some of his goals from the Tampa series, Bork has just been getting clean looks. You can definitely argue about, oh, this player is better than that player and that guy is better than that guy, but a lot of players in the NHL, the National Hockey League, the best hockey league in the world, if you give them a clean shot, they can bury. And that's what Bork's been doing and that's what he did. Third period, here come the Bruins. Oh, I've seen this movie before. Still going to therapy for it. You see, the problem is the Bruins are just like any other team. They have their ups, they have their downs, and it kind of just goes like that. But then sometimes they have an up, and an up, and you wonder when it's gonna stop! But then it doesn't, and you're like, maybe they can pull it off in overtime! Hey Doc, it's me. Yeah, I relapsed again. Price had to make a lot of heroic saves throughout this game. Like, throughout the night. But the Bruins outshot the Habs 13-10 in the first. Well, that's not a big deal. 9-7 in the second. That's not a big deal. 14-6 in the third and in overtime. The Bruins are a little bit like Hulk Hogan. You'll be winning the match, you'll be punching him and kicking him, and he does that thing where he's like, no, and he reaches out his hand. But then you hit him with that one blow. Boom! <sighs> What the? <laughs> Who got him again? <laughs> oh, not this again! <laughs> One more time! Boom! <laughs> you! When the Bruins hulk up, it's hard to stop them. The Bruins and I think the Ducks are great at that. So it was Carey Price's job to hold the fort while the Habs played the Brooklyn Brawler. And then Matt Barkowski takes a penalty. My God, that's P.K. Subban's music! Set him up with a point! Boom! And he plays the role of the heartbreak kid. You see that still image of P.K. Subban's flex? Like, what are sticks even made of nowadays? It's not that carbon fiber or graphite whatever. Boss, I think you're gonna be really happy with our work. We've invented a new type of hockey stick that can time travel. Will it be ready for the playoffs? Am I the best fake hockey scientist you've got? I knew I could count on you, Johnson. And wow! With that, the Habs take the first game. And even though it was double OT, I'm gonna watch it. I'm not not gonna watch that. And if the rest of the series is like this, uh, I might be a little tired. I'm not ashamed to admit that this morning I put a bunch of shaving cream on my face and then reached for the toothbrush. It's just my daily facial scrub. Question of the game. Assuming every game in this series goes the way this one did, and it's likely that it won't, but assuming it does, 
Will the Habs be able to come out with the win? Or will the Bruins eventually be too much? And I know the Habs have some firepower, but I don't think you can survive getting outshot like that. And I know Carey Price is amazing, but Rask isn't bad. Who is he drafted by? Oh, that's right. And after the game, I think every fan base has some idiots, and in a rivalry, those idiots tend to flourish. It's spring, there's the playoffs. Flowers bloom, and so do idiots. A rivalry is like watering them, and then, nah, I'm an idiot. If you want to chirp each other, go nuts. Just keep it to hockey and don't be an asshole. I'd say that's pretty solid life advice in general. One final question, I asked this on Twitter and I got a ton of response. What is the angriest rivalry in the NHL? Is it the Habs Bruins or Philly Pittsburgh? And to think, in round two we could have had both. Thanks for ruining that by being good, Rangers! Selfish. That's it for this one, thank you very much for watching. Click like if you like this video, click subscribe if you really liked it, and I will see you next time. Oh, I'm sure things will calm down. No.